don't know about yeah. anybody else in America, but I am, I, I'm just tired of the government saying one thing and doing the exact opposite. And this is not a left-right issue. This is a right-wrong issue. They're both doing it. And because of that, I'm going to start naming names. I'm going to point out specific lawmakers, both Republicans and the Democrats, who, uh, who don't say what they mean and mean what they say. Take this $410 billion omnibus spending bill, which, which taxpayers, for common sense, says includes 9,000 earmarks. That, uh, by the way, the earmarks are not even included in this. Those you actually have to print, they each are about 1,000 pages. There's all oh, many, many more pages coming. The earmarks add up to $7.8 billion. Call it earmarks, call it pork, or, you know, Call it like Congress does, special projects. You know what? I know it when I see it. It's bull crap. Which makes what President Obama uh, has been saying lately ring just a little hollow. Listen to this. The truth is our earmark system, what's called pork barrel spending, in Washington is fraught with abuse. It badly needs reform. Absolutely we need earmark reform. And when I'm president, I will go line by line to make sure that we are not spending money unwisely. But when they start characterizing this as pork without acknowledging that there are no earmarks in this package, something again that was pretty rare over the last eight years, uh, then you get a feeling that maybe we're playing politics instead of actually trying to solve problems for the American people. I'm proud that we passed a recovery plan free of earmarks. He went on to say, and my next, next year's will have no earmarks in it. Of course not. Next year, maybe. This year? Guess who has literal earmarks in this bill? Oh my gosh! Look at this! President Barack Obama, as a senator, has literal earmarks in this bill that was released today. Oh my gosh! Here's one from Joe Biden. Here's one from Joe Biden. Here's one from Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Joe Biden. Joe Biden! Are you kidding me? Does the president really think we're this stupid to see what's going on? No, no, no. Let me ask that question again. Are we this stupid? Do, are, do we agree with Chuck Schumer? And let me say this to all of the chattering class that so much focuses on those little, tiny, yes, porky amendments. The American people really don't care. You know what, Chuck Schumer? I care. I care. I think the Americans care. Obama is wrong. Is this man the most powerful man in the world, telling us that he wants to get rid of earmarks, but yet he's incapable of controlling his own party? He, he just can't keep them from spending on worthy projects like $1.2 million to fund mosquito trapping in Gainesville, Florida. By the way, that wasn't requested by anybody in Florida. That was requested by somebody in Connecticut. Congressman or Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro, an absolute nightmare. $238,000 for Hawaiian canoe trips. Oh, I love those. Hey, Senator Dan, thanks for that. $143,000 for Las Vegas Natural History Museum, which Harry Reid added in. This isn't just a problem with the left. What really torques me is it's also the Republicans. Two weeks ago, Michael Steele was on this program. I about blew a gasket. I asked him, I asked him, why should we trust you? He looked me in the eyes and said this. You don't need to tell the Democrats that they stink. You need the Republicans to actually apply the principles in their Absolutely. life every single day. Absolutely. And the way I do that, Glenn, is by getting up in their face. I've got to go back to my base, and I've got to make sure that we're grooming the candidates who understand those principles and apply those principles in their leadership, whether in legislative office or whatever, whatever they're doing that has that Republican brand attached to it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that's fantastic. Where's Steele now? Why isn't he coming out against the members of the GOP? Name and names, holding their feet to the fire. Instead, he actually released this statement, presumably to attack the donkeys who are responsible for $4.6 billion of pork or 60% of the crap loaded into this budget. Quote, Governor Jindal and I, we continue our party's fight for reform as the Democrats propose more wasteful spending and bigger government. Really? 
I'm not really a mathematician, but I am a thinker. If the Democrats are only responsible for 60% of the pork, then aren't the Republicans responsible for the other 40%? Or are those just special interest for the Republicans and not pork? I'm dogpiling on the Republicans, America, because I know what to expect from the, from the Democrats. Okay? Somebody has got to stand up against it, and neither party is doing it. I welcome the Democrats that would stand against this insanity. I welcome the Republicans that will stand up, and there are a few. But when the hell are you going to stand up, America? This is why Republicans lose, and this is why we're losing our country. Since Steele doesn't seem to have the guts to do it, allow me to point out some of the worst Republican hypocrites. Senator uh, from Mississippi, Tad Cochran, the uh, top Republican on the Senate Appropriations, backs earmarks including a $950,000 nature education center in his state. <laughs> South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham also wants nine hundred fifty dollars for a Myrtle Beach Convention Center. In Wyoming, the congresswoman there, Barbara Cuban, asked for $190,000 for the Buffalo Bill Historical Center. I've been there. I like it. But you know what? If you can't get it done locally, why the hell am I paying for it here? Say what you mean and mean what you say, America. Let's let the truth actually stand. But, oh, by the way, I, I have an update. You know the Barack Obama earmark that I told you? As I was in that uh, replay of what Michael Steele, I was handed a news update. This just breaking, President Obama's name is going to be removed from this, not the earmark, just any record that he put it in.